Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Fez Sheikh and welcome to the second part of our video Basic Steps to Post-Graduation in Germany. In this video, I'll be discussing about the steps that you need to complete in Germany once you are here. Once you have gotten your visa and are here in Germany, you can start learning the medical German. There are many courses that offer learning medical German, but it is not a must. Sadly, for visa purposes, you need to show that you are attending a course, hence this step is kind of a compulsion. But it also comes with its advantages. In a course, you can learn the German language properly, practice them with the other doctors there along with you, and gain experience from the qualified teachers. The most important things that you need to learn during this, this course is taking a history and documentation about this history and presenting a case to your senior doctor because these are all the steps that will be examined in your Fachsprachprüfung, that is the language exam. All of this might sound very complicated, but it's really what you have already done in final year. You just have to do it in German. And that is also not that difficult because the German proficiency is already what you have. You just need to fine tune the things a little bit and learn medical terminology on, it, on top of it. The medical terminology for the most part remains the same. It's not that complicated or difficult. On completing the German language course, you can give your Fachsprachprüfung or the FSP exam. This exam is conducted by the medical council and the exam is lasts for 60 minutes roughly. The, in this exam, the f there are three parts. The first part is taking a history. You are given 20 minutes when a dummy patient. You have to take the proper history from the patient, the family history, past history, and the medications that they take, and so on. In the second part is the documentation part. You have to document everything that you have taken in the history. That, again, you are given 20 minutes for this. And the third part is case presentation and a short viva which is more focused on the language that you speak. Third part, you are again 20 minutes examined by two examiners who will be testing your language proficiency, who will be seeing how well did you communicate with the patient, are you able to understand what the patient has conveyed to you, and how well can you from this uh, history give them an idea about what is wrong with the patient. So here you will not technically be tested about your knowledge, so it is okay if you make minor mistakes, but what is important is that you communicate properly because this is your language exam. The result for this exam is generally given on the next day and once you have cleared this exam, you are applicable to apply for a temporary license as well as a temporary job permit, which is an advantage in case you want to take some time uh, gain some experience and then go for the final exam. On completion of this FSP exam, you can now start attending the KP exam preparation course. For this course, you will have to focus on subjects like medicine, surgery, pharmacology, radiology and Strahlenschutz, which is basically protection from radiation, the rules and regulations that are here, uh, orthopedics, and legal aspects of medicine called as Resch medicine. When I gave my KB exam, it was conducted by the University Hospital in Münster, but right now the rules have changed and it has been conducted by the Medical Council in Münster, so the examiners keep changing. Now, for this exam, there are two parts. The first part is going to be focused on history taking and examination and documentation of this. So you'll be given a dummy patient where you take the history, you examine the patient, and then you write down all your findings on a piece of paper. For the second part, you, there's a viva as well as case presentation. You present the case, you present your differential diagnosis, and there's a viva on the mentioned subjects. Each subject is important, especially medicine, uh, surgery, pharmacology are the most important and scoring subjects where they can ask you questions regarding uh, the whole field. Obviously, it depends on your examiner. If your examiner is uh, orthopedic, then you're likely to get more questions about orthopedics. If, you're, if one of your examiner is a uh, nephrologist, then you're more likely to get uh, questions on nephrology. So this way, you have to be prepared in all the topics. This exam can last longer, up to two hours, and the result is declared on the same day. 
And once you have cleared this exam, then you are granted the medical license to practice in Germany. And now comes the final part, finding your post-graduation seat. Now, finding a post-graduation seat is just like applying for a job. The hospitals publish on various websites and in the newspaper of the openings that they have in the department. And you send your uh, CV and a cover letter to the HOD or to the hospital applying for this job. If they like what they see, they call you for an interview and after interview, the decision is made. Here you have the flexibility that if you do not like the job, you can also obviously say no. And plus the HOD will also ask you a few questions about how much experience you have, what all have you done. And at the end of the day, decide on the best candidate that they have. Once you get the job, then you can start doing your post graduation. Now you might be wondering, how do I do my post graduation if this is a job? The thing here in Germany is that the HOD has permission to teach you, to train you for your post graduation. The hospital appoints you as a junior resident and you are paid accordingly as per a junior resident salary. But the training part is in the hands of your HOD. So what is important while applying for a job is also to look that your HOD has the permission to train you for the respective field and for how long. For example, you need to have five years of uh, training in non-surgical fields and six years of training in surgical fields. Sometimes the HODs have only two or three years of permission to train you for these uh, fields. And in that case, you might have to change your postgraduate. You, you might have to change your hospital after two or three years. So if you are someone who is looking to complete your whole post-graduation in one hospital, then it's better to apply to a place where, has, where the HOD has permission for the whole duration. All of this information again can be found on the website of the Medical Council of which HOD has how much permission and so on. So this was a short summary of the process. In the upcoming videos, we'll be discussing them much more in details. This is a long and complicated process and patience is key in this. So to summarize, uh, the steps that you need to do in Germany, attend your FSP course, give the FSP exam, attend your KP course, give your KP exam, and once you have cleared all of it, apply for a post-graduation position. For more information, subscribe to the channel, visit our website, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook.